Dr. Dinesh yeah. Manandra, yes. uh, the University of Tokyo. Yes. Uh, welcome to IAC yeah. 2024, and welcome to Australia in Space TV. Yeah, thank you very much. It's um, my yeah. <laughs> well, Pleasure. look, you just did a session there on mm. uh, on GNSS spoofing yes. uh, attacks. Uh, I suppose my main takeaway was uh, how easy uh, mm. these spoofing attacks can be. Yeah. Uh, but you've also set up a detection uh, mm. system uh, comparing mm. signals. Yeah. And also uncovering the initial uh, true signal, I think, it's, yeah. is the main thing, right? Yeah. Um, maybe give us a little bit of background to the research, mm -hmm. but these uh, uh, authentication processes have been already put on mm. satellites yeah. uh, for, for Japanese satellites. Yeah, just a little bit about the background to okay. your research, and you've made it operational as well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, probably now... Nowadays, everybody knows about the spoofing attacks. We see so many uh, cases in the news uh, in different countries around the world. But 10 or 15 years back, it's, it, it was not much hard. And that time we were discussing that we should have the, this anti-spoofing techniques, but it was very difficult to convince the people. And that's why even if the new signals were designed at the time, this spoofing was not much uh, considered in this uh, new signal design. Yep. But last few years, so it has been a lot of in the news and now people realize at the satellite side and also the user level. So many things are coming up, also many research and on this one. And the easiest one is to implement on the navigation message authentication, and that's already been done in uh, Japanese satellite yeah. as well as in the European Galileo satellite. So the the spoofing attack it can adjust the time, uh, yeah. but then also change the the data is itself, right? And then sort of poison yeah. that data as well. Yes. So that's the very dangerous part. So the most dangerous part is that even when when the spoofing attack is done, the receiver doesn't complain. The receiver doesn't know, and mm. it's very difficult to detect because it's just like the signal coming from the satellite. So it goes undetected. So if it is an automated system, such type of spoofing attack will be very, very dangerous. So it may change your position data, it will change your time data. So what will happen if the time data is changed for like a time synchronization in the communication or financial transactions? Yeah. Okay, that's a big issue. Position data, you may be able to know like, uh, okay, no, 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 this position is something different, but yeah. time is very difficult. I think it's also important to understand that a spoofing attack is occurring. Of course. Uh, so again, that can tell you about your risk profile of that particular satellite. Uh, what was the installation process to have these put on? The one's on the Galileo uh, satellite, and I'm, I missed the, the other Japanese one. The Japanese QZ, yeah, QZSS. QZ, yes. So what was the process of getting them uh, onboarded, or are they on the receiver side, so it's just a matter of uploading it. Is it a piece of firmware or is it a uh, app, software application? No, it's, it's a two part. One is on the satellite side. The satellite yeah. side is uh, it's uh, rather simple. It's just uh, you broadcast a digital signature of the navigation message in the, in the Japanese satellite. And in the European also it's a navigation message authentication, but they use the Tesla logic to do this. So basically it's to broadcast the digital signature of the message, navigation message. Yeah. And on the receiver, so this NMA navigation message authentication design in such a way that there's no hardware modification and the signal modification on the receiver side. It should be useful uh, in the existing receiver as it is just by the firmware modification or Got software it. modification. So, so, so that's a piece of software, yeah. right? Yeah. Just understanding. On the receiver yeah. side, yes. And as you say, it's an authentication yeah. process. Now, one of the questions I did ask is if there's multiple spoof attacks. Uh, firstly, is that possible? And secondly, again, sort of, a, I'm thinking nation-state attack uh, on a positioning satellite. Mm. Uh, what that could potentially mean, but I think it's important to understand if there is more, more than one attack, what that might indicate. So, okay. again, you can still separate those the spoof attack and still get to the true signal. Uh, it depends how the spoofing is done. So, in general, if it's not very smart spoofing, so we can detect. Yeah. And we can probably, uh, like I, I presented, even if it is attacked by the spoof signal, and if there is a true signal in the signal coming from the antenna, yeah. we can dig the true signal out to some extent. But there are many ways of doing the spoofing attack. So in many cases, it may not be possible. And the spoofing itself is not that simple, unless you have uh, access to the receiver or the system. Yeah. So there are many ways to do the spoofing attacks, like uh, we call the self-spoofing means I have the receiver myself, 
I'm in under my control or the system under my control, so I can do whatever I like it. Yeah. But if I want to spoof a car on the street, maybe it's uh, quite complex. Or if I want to do like uh, spoofing the whole area by flying a drone and transmitting the spoof signal, you yeah. may at attack the whole area or right. certain area. Yeah, okay. okay. So that's very dangerous. But we can detect. But the one, even if you detect, so you can't do. You just know that it's it's spoof attack. Yes. Okay. So you still the, need a response yes. to that, right? So the so our approach is how to how to how to dig this real signal out from this spoofing things. Yes. Okay. So and get back to the real data. You get back to the Correct. real data. So that's a, some approach. Okay. Uh, I suppose an overall comment from you in terms of space cyber security. Yeah. I'd put this under a sort of a cyber security uh, umbrella. Uh, but yeah, how how vulnerable are satellite systems to cyber attack and spoofing being one attack type? I think yeah. Well, so spoofing and cyber attacks are a little bit different. Maybe the, we, we if we separate the spoofing on the satellite side. So today we are talking uh, spoofing attacks on the ground. Yeah. But we don't know tomorrow. Maybe it may be attack spoofing attack on the space as well. Yeah. If somebody if they've got access like to a, there's the, a cubesat yeah. and yes. transmitting the spoof signal, yeah. that will be disastrous. And to protect those type of signal, then you need to have a this type of digital signature or other type of encryption and all. Yes. And then it comes to cyber attack. So what will happen if the cyber yeah. attacks don't to on those digital signatures or the encrypted so dead signals? So what you're saying, we've still got some way yeah. to build resiliency into the our yes. systems, and there are vulnerabilities. Yeah. So this resiliency, P, resilient PNT is now a big topic. Yes. But it's not that easy as well because the moment you try to do it very resilient. Proof. I mean, resilient uh, PNT. Yeah. Then you also d require the receiver, very complex receiver. Got it. And you can't make that complex receiver with a few dollars, for the civilian. I mean, the mass market receivers. Yes. Because like my watch, that the sports watch has L1, L5, dual frequency receiver. Yeah. And it just costs maybe a few dollars, and you can't put many. Does uh, I mean the protection on this? Okay. Right. So yeah, they can, as you say, the receiver. Things like your yeah. smartwatch will be a receiver. But that's not necessarily got the right security on it, and that can be uh, sort of um, uh, attacked as well in yeah. terms of uh, mis misguided in terms of the information it receives. Mm. Um, look, Dinesh, Dr. Dinesh Manandra uh, from the University of Tokyo, pleasure to join your session today. Uh, only 15 minutes, but you could have gone okay. for quite a long time in terms of deep diving into this area. But I saw uh, GNSS spoofing uh, on the topic there, and I had to go and have a look. Uh, lovely to have you yeah. on Australia in Space TV, and enjoy the rest of IAC 2024. Yeah. Thank you very much.